Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 weirdest unlockables in Resident Evil. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Despite the disturbing visuals, violent creatures, and creepy environments, Resident Evil has shown its goofy, wacky side as a reward for enduring the terror. Of them all, these are, without a doubt, the most bizarre. Which unlockable did you find the most odd? Did it make the list? Let us know in the comments below. One Dangerous Zombie, Resident Evil. Honestly, this one isn't as strange as the rest of the list, but it certainly caused us to raise an eyebrow. To access this special mode, you will have to complete both Chris and Jill's campaigns under the normal or hard difficulty. Doing this will allow you to begin a special version of the campaign where Spencer Mansion hosts a new enemy type, the Bomb Zombie. A handful of rooms will house this grenade-equipped monstrosity, and there's nothing you can do to stop him. One shot will kill everybody in the room, and we mean everybody. That includes you. You, you're, you're part of everybody. To truly rid yourself of the bomb zombie, you'll have to get past the fight against Plant 42. So, good luck. Versus Roach Mode, Resident Evil Survivor 2, Code Veronica. Resident Evil has thrown many nightmarish creatures at us, from your typical zombie, to biomutants, to psychopaths, and so on and so forth. But if you're squeamish about a measly little cockroach, you probably don't want to play Code Veronica. Like, at all. Spanning five missions long, players can choose to play as either Claire Redfield or Steve Burnside and fight hordes of cockroaches. Yes, they look and sound just as disgusting as their real-world counterparts, and it almost convinced us to just burn our consoles to oblivion. Though you have to admit, it's hilarious seeing someone like Claire or Steve use a gun to off a bunch of tiny insects. The PRL 412, Resident Evil 4. The Resident Evil series has always been a bit more grounded in reality when it comes to weapons. Obviously the story is not so much realistic, but you get my point. You have your pistols, your shotguns, the occasional explosives, and assault rifles, etc, etc. But as we'll see later on, Capcom likes to throw in some curveballs, such as the PRL-412. This is an energy-based gun that looks as if it was ripped straight out of Ratchet & Clank or Mass Effect and it can blow anything away with one or two shots. As expected, unlocking it won't be easy, as you'll have to finish RE4 under the professional difficulty, so you best have a strategy in mind. Hunk Lady, Resident Evil Revelations. Look, we have nothing against the female hunk, but the way she's designed is questionable. Just look at her. She looks completely identical to the regular hunk, except she's got a fine set of lady legs showing. They may as well have given her fishnet stockings and high heels for crying out loud. But hey, she's got it, so who are we to judge? Regardless how you feel about this strange gender swap of hunk, you can unlock her through two different methods. PS4, Xbox One, and Switch players will have to get 150 bonuses in raid mode. Those who, for some reason, are still playing the original version, y'all have to fork over three bucks. Womp womp. Lottie, Resident Evil Revelations 2. <laughs> Speaking of odd characters and costumes, the sequel to Revelations had a really bizarre character to unlock. In Raid Mode, the wireframed character Anonymous, or Cypher, can don a life-sized costume of Lottie. Yes, you heard that right. 
you can play as the same demented teddy bear that Natalia owns. All you have to do is get Anonymous or Cypher to level 50, but to unlock him, you'll need to accrue 90 completion medallions, which are obtained by getting perfect clears on each raid mode map, and really, it just boils down to how badly do you want to play as this damn teddy bear? The Tofu Survivor, Resident Evil 2. Guess there's no keeping down the Grim Reaper, huh? This was the weird unlockable that started Resident Evil's tradition of goofy side campaigns and weapons. The Tofu Survivor is exactly what one would expect from a mode with such a name. You play through an entire campaign as a sentient block of tofu. Don't let its absurd presence fool you, as this is arguably the hardest mode in the entire RE2 experience. All you have to work with is a knife and some herbs. Luckily, the Tofu can take quite a bit of damage before dying, and can continue running even when heavily wounded. Surprisingly, the Tofu Survivor would be expanded upon in the remake, with more characters and playstyles being offered, and honestly, it's our favorite unlockable in the Resident Evil series. Really, as soon as you hear that death metal soundtrack kick in, it's gold. <laughs> LZ Answerer, Resident Evil Village. <laughs> Ethan Winters is many things. A husband, a father, a man with no face. But what you may not know about him is that he is Last Jedi. Your eyes do not deceive you, dear viewer. What you're seeing on screen is the token goofy weapon for Village, the LZ Answerer. It's basically just a lightsaber. Now you too can pretend you're a Jedi or a Sith and wield a lightsaber to slice up zombies, lichens, and giant vampire ladies. If you desire to wield this weapon and fulfill your destiny, you'll have to prove your worth and achieve S rank on every mercenary stage. Or just do what I do and pay a few bucks to unlock everything. Yeah, mercenaries is hard. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter! Cat Ears, Resident Evil 2. <laughs> we aren't even done with this list and we're already asking ourselves, what is life? Yes, you can put cat ears on your character in the Resident Evil 2 remake, specifically the Ghost Survivor mode. All you need to do to acquire this item is complete the No Way Out scenario without firing more than 60 shots from your handgun. In other words, know when to conserve your ammo. Just to make this ridiculous headpiece worth your time, the Cat Ears grant you infinite ammo for your entire run. So, hey, looking a tad silly does pay off. Hot Dogger, Resident Evil 3. The third Resident Evil game is already kind of outrageous. I mean, come on, a giant bioweapon that seems to magically know where Jill is at all times? Like, we're past the point of no return on outrageousness. But if you need even more surrealness in the remake of Resident Evil 3, there is a melee weapon that you'll have a field day with. Save up 7200p and you'll be able to unlock the Hot Dogger. Now you too can try the Thousand Degree Knife Challenge on a bunch of Zombos and bioweapons like nobody's business. There are already a bunch of explosions and fire happening anyways, so why not make the cookout even bigger? Let's go, let's do this, let's crisp up some zombies with this good knife. <laughs> Bubble Gun, Resident Evil Revelations 2. That's a big sluice. Normally, we like to keep things to one per game, but we had to make an exception here. The bubble gun is by far the strangest and funniest unlockable from across the Resident Evil franchise. With this, Natalia can trap enemies, including bosses, inside a giant bubble, putting them in a stasis and giving Barry ample time to unload bullets. Unfortunately, you can't spam this as only one enemy can be trapped inside a bubble at a time. So much for feeling like a magical girl or SpongeBob SquarePants. Beware though, should you use this in a playthrough, the highest grade you can possibly earn is a C rank. So you might want to save this for less serious playthroughs. 
Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.